Hey guys, today we're gonna do a review of the Blackstar Fly 3. Now it's called the Fly 3 because it's three watts of power and I think you're supposed to take it on the fly. If you saw the video where I went to Sam Ash and I bought this guitar and amp, uh, you'll understand what's going on. If you didn't, you may wanna click the link below and hit that video and understand what's going on. Um, the rest of you know that in the video I bought this amp. Now I'd like to talk about real quick before I do the review of the amp, the explanation of why that happened because it was because of you. Now the reason is, is I get so many comments all the time and one of them was over and over again, have you tried this Blackstar Fly amp? It's pretty amazing. But when I did the EVH MicroStack review where I modified it, a lot of people said, hey, could you mod one of these? And also, have you tried it? Um, you know, I like it much better. Well, you guys are absolutely right. This is a way better than any battery plastic amp uh, on the market that I've ever tried. In fact, I don't think it should be lumped in with those guys. Those are all toys and this is, this is a legitimate piece of gear. There is no reason why you couldn't use this for any situation. Um, it's got, uh, let's talk about some features. So check out the picture right there and we'll go with it together in order. So first you got the input. It's pretty, control, pretty easy to understand. You have a gain control with an OD button. The OD is the distortion and the clean control. So you can switch between two channels. You have a level, of course. You have EQ, which is like a generic tone knob. They call it the ISF. It works perfect for this. You know, they got a fancy way to spin on it, but it's just, just a tone knob. Um, delay control, it's got the actual delay. You can actually feed in how much delay and then the time. I prefer that, by the way, more than the reverb because I can make it sound reverby and I have delay, which is a really cool feature on the amp. Um, it has an MP3 line in, which of course you can plug in anything you want. I even noticed now that they, for like $30, $40, they have a device that lets you make this Bluetooth. And then you have your headphone outs, which is also an emulated speaker out. Now on the back, which I won't show you, there is a cable that you can put an extension speaker on this. I probably won't be doing that because I'm gonna take my money. I ordered myself the white one with the British grill, grill cloth, uh, since it's the same price, I'll have that one here at home and I'm gonna keep this in my car. So in case I ever need an amp on the go, this is gonna be my go-to amp. Now I have two of the Roland Cube Micros, fantastic amps. Um, I'd say they sound better, but here's the problem. This is a, even ha less than half the size of those. So, so portable, so good. Let's check out first the clean sound. Now the clean sound has a little bit of breakup in it. I just like my clean a little bit with gain. So let's do the clean with a little bit of breakup to get that kind of more of a tubey uh, distorted clean sound. So let's check that out. So now let's see how clean we can get it. I'm gonna back the gain off and get it as clean as I can and let's see what that produces. So now let's see what it does for blues. I'm gonna switch it over to the gain channel and uh, turn the gain down a little bit. Use this uh, beautiful Gibson with P90s and let's see what kind of bluesy rock, light rock tone we can get. So let's switch up guitars. I'm gonna grab a different guitar and we're gonna to try to do some hard rock metal to see what the amp really does. The gain is not as gain, it doesn't have the high gain that most Blackstar amps have, which for small practice, it's fantastic. Besides, to get a pure tone, I had to turn the amp up a little bit for the microphone. At, at a quiet practice, you'll get more distortion as you turn this down. Um, either way, it's more than enough. <laughs> Well, there you have it, the Black Star Fly 3. I think it's the first legitimate plastic made little amplifier I've ever tried. One critique, power supply. You know what, it's 60 bucks, which is dirt cheap. 
70 bucks with a power supply would have been a much, much nicer option. I mean, they give you some batteries, but a power supply. So that's my critique. There you go. I wish I had a power supply. So very cool amp. And again, thank you to you guys uh, for suggesting it. When I was at the Sam Ash, um, I saw it in the glass case and I was already about to make my purchase. And I go, oh, that's that amp that everybody keeps telling me about. I need to check it out. Um, and it's fantastic. If you're looking at a small practice amp, this is the only way to go. <laughs> so um, because it's the only one I would consider. So thank you for spending some time with me today and checking out this piece of gear. And uh, this is that gold Les Paul that I bought in that video that I absolutely love and I'm gonna keep. Um, the only thing I wish it did is I wish I had the cream pickups. I like the cream over the black, but it's still a beautiful guitar. It's fantastic. You obviously got to hear it in the video. It plays great. What a great value. So very cool guitar. And like I said, it will stay in the collection. If you notice in the montages, the, the people sending in the pictures that with them and their Know Your Gear t-shirts, I'm not wearing one today, but uh, thank you again to all of you for doing this. This is a blast. I plan to keep making these montages and get them elaborate and keep changing people in and out. So you'll never know when you're coming in and out of, of, of the videos. Uh, and if you're interested in getting involved in this, it's simple. It's you just go down below and buy one of the t-shirts. It helps support the channel and send me that same t-shirt, a picture of you that t-shirt. Uh, to the email down below and uh, like I said uh, I'll put you on the uh, montages as always thank you for your time and know your gear <laughs>